This is question number seven from GS paper three of mains twenty twenty two examination. Discuss in detail the photochemical smoke, emphasizing its formation, effects, and mitigation. Explain the nineteen ninety nine Gothenburg protocol. In this question, we have to write four things. First is the formation of photochemical smoke. Second is effects of photochemical smoke. Third is mitigation measures to reduce the formation of photochemical smog. Fourth one is that we have to briefly explain Gothenburg protocol. Now let's see the answer. First is the formation of photochemical smog. Combustion of fossil fuels releases nitrogen oxides, volatile organic compounds, along with other pollutants. These air pollutants, when interact with sunlight, the secondary pollutants like ozone. peroxyacyl nitrate aldehydes phenols nitrous oxide etc are produced these pollutants cause brownish gray haze in lower atmosphere it is called photochemical smog next is now let us see the step wise mechanism of formation of photochemical smog in the internal combustion engine nitrogen dioxide reacts with oxygen in air to form nitrous oxide when nitrous oxide comes out in air through exhaust of vehicle it combines with oxygen present in air to form nitrogen dioxide third is photochemical reaction photochemical reaction mean reaction induced by sunlight photochemical reaction dissociates nitrogen dioxide into nitrous oxide and atomic oxygen atomic oxygen is also called nascent oxygen oxygen molecule of air reacts with oxygen atom to form ozone the nitrous oxide reacts with volatile hydrocarbons also called volatile organic compounds in air and oxygen molecules in air to form nitrogen dioxide and peroxyacyl nitrate next is effects of photochemical smog peroxyacyl nitrate causes irritation of eyes and throat it causes respiratory problems like asthma bronchitis emphysema and cancer aldehydes cause irritation of gastrointestinal and respiratory tract ozone causes chest pain coughing and eye irritation in plants it causes premature yellowing and fall of leaves it causes discoloration and disintegration of clothes it damages rubber particularly automobile tires and rubber insulation of electric wires phenols damage kidneys liver spleen and lungs nitrous acid causes respiratory problems photochemical smog reduces visibility causing delay in flights and slow road traffic ground level ozone traps solar heat thus causing localized heating effect in urban areas now next is the mitigation measures a uh, formation of photochemical smoke can be reduced by following measures a uh, first is pollutants released by burning of fossil pollutants released by burning of fossil fuels in vehicles industries are responsible for photochemical smoke replace the fossil fuels with clean fuels like hydrogen electric power etc replace the thermal power plants with solar or wind power plants government should strictly check the stubble burning by farmers the toxic gases from emission of vehicles and industries can be removed by use of catalytic converters and scrubbers respectively bar stage 6 vehicle emission norms should be implemented strictly now the last part of the question gothenburg protocol 1999 united nations economic commission for europe unece adopted a protocol to abate acidification eutrophication and ground level ozone in gothenburg city of sweden on 30th november 1999 This is commonly known as Gothenburg protocol. This protocol is about pollutants that cause acidification, eutrophication and ground level ozone formation. It is a part of UNECE Convention on Long Range Transboundary Air Pollution. This protocol 
calls to reduce emission of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, ammonia, volatile organic compounds and particulate matter, India is not a signatory of Gothenburg Protocol.